All right, guys, so here we actually have the junior finals. Oh, yeah. So uh, we have William Wallace and Rowan Godfrey Robbins. Um, I decided to keep it a secret. We could have figured out what decks to play. But I was like, let's keep it a secret. Let's find out what these guys are playing and let's see what the juniors are up to. And actually, I'm hoping Rowan wins. Yeah, those same. Who, my, uh, him and his mom, they actually come to a lot of tournaments up in Indiana. So, so uh, for those who know, my, one of my favorite shows is called Hemlock Grove. And one of the families is called Godfrey on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so looks like, well, we see a Mew and an Evans also. Could be a mirror match. Uh, looks like a Mew dark deck, which a lot of people had talked about this, like right, Mew two blocks, and an Evans which it could be, we don't know what kind of Evans it is. It could be Dark Agaratina with the Evans yeah. it could be a Mew box, it could be a Valplume deck. Um, there's a Trainer's Mill for a Sycamore. Gonna we'll put that into their hand. That's the beautiful thing about Evans man. You can, you can, you can splash that thing into almost anything. You know, you just run some dark energy. And you're, you're good to go. Exactly, yeah. So it's just a good card. It's three years now, I think we've seen it even all. It's not going to go away yeah, anytime it's, soon. <laughs> they're going to reprint it again. They might. No, they already did. Yeah, yeah it came in a 10. Yeah, the uh, the shiny yeah. one or yep. whatever it was. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's around for another two years, maybe. And then the you know the Oblivion the Oblivion Wing Evil Tall it just got reprinted. Steam C. But we see three trains will turn one from from Rowan. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right, seems good. All out. Uh, fighting for belt, maybe go on that Evil Tall, give some more HP. But if this is the Mew box deck, William is definitely playing the Fright Night Evil Tall. There's no way he doesn't. Like, playing it down, shutting down duels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we see Sycamore on uh, Ultra Ball, just kind of Ultra Ball out of Sycamore. And I see a Trubbish. So it is a, yeah. it's a Garboda version. It's not the. Uh, there it you know, is. There's Fright Night. So they're both playing Fright Night. It's going to be some, some Fright Night shenanigans going on here, guys. Fright Night is so good. Dude, just the 60 60 pitch black spear. It's so amazing. Uh, so let's see what does Rowan have here. I saw Max Luxer in his hand, so there it is. There's good old Max Luxer. And he can he pull the Brad or not? There's a DCE. And oh, no, he whips it. He did not believe in Brad. That's, that's what just happened there. All right, so see a Max Luxer. Gonna get the whiff. Uh, looks like he has a floatstone to Sphia Sycamore for a Sycamore. Uh, discard his hand. Draw seven new cards. Oh, my goodness. All of his Ultra Balls turn one? That, oh, three Ultra Balls. I think it was three. Like you should Ultra Ball in that that sense, like... To dig for a Shaman? Yeah, I mean, or that, or like get a Trouble Shout, you like, or another, you know, another Evil Tall. Well, know? he did play Ultra Ball, the first two Ultra Balls, for to get the Evil Tall out. Oh, what did he have? Was it double Ultra Ball uh, Sycamore, or did he Yeah, have, okay. No, he had he had one Ultra Ball left and one Sycamore. He was showing, oh, he, had, okay. he, was showing he had three Ultra Balls in his hand. Those Dark Engine go to the active, and the good thing about Evil Tall, it only needs two energy to start attacking. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You know, you can be dead drawing, like, you're not hitting a supporter, you're not hitting an ultra ball for a shaman. You just start attaching energy to that guy, and you're doing damage. Yeah, you're good to go. Now we see ultra ball. That's his fourth ultra ball. I saw three discarded the first turn. Fourth one, so no more left. He can't search for the Garboder. He can't search for maybe Breakpoint Dark, right? He does have a DC, so next turn he can go for a Y Cyclone, uh, which is good. But here we see Crush Hammer. Oh my goodness, and it's Tails. So Crush Hammer is going to be a really. Oh, another, another Crush one. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's a it's tails. It looks like a one. So trainer's mail. Look at the top four. There's an N. Uh, fighting for dark energy and a trainer's mail. If you had, if you had gotten a fourth, crush or third crush never. But O2 right now. So both the players are whiffing on their luck cards. Max looks there didn't hit. Crush never didn't hit. That's the thing I love about watching. You know the juniors play like these younger kids. They. They play these cards like Crushing Hammer that, you know, usually are, like, game-changing, and they, they just play it so fast, and, you know, <laughs> it doesn't give you enough time to react and, like, hold your breath. <laughs> All right, so we see uh, a Max looks like a look at top six. Can he find a Dark Energy, and this oh. one will hit. Yeah, had plenty of Dark Energy there. Yeah, he got two Dark Energies in that Dark Eye. Right? All right, now that's going to do 20, 40, 60, plus the Fighting Fuel is 70 damage. Yeah, we're going uh -huh. to see Dark Eye getting up and getting it on this turn, right? And Mew here. does have free retreat as well, so Absolutely. that's where we're going to see. see retreat. And he plays Giratina as well, which I really haven't seen a Mew box play uh, Giratina yet, but they received 70 damage coming down for Breakpoint Dark Eye. Right? Now, if I'm Rowan, I definitely maybe. Uh, oh, he, benched, he accidentally benched the Giratina. It doesn't matter. Just can't just have it down. Back to your hand. Yeah, straight back to your hand. All right, but uh, he can maybe go for the Y Cyclone here. Do 90 or 100 and move that DC to the bench, Evotol. Yeah, absolutely. The Evotol is getting knocked out. You can't save it. Like, no, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, you might as well try to get as much damage output as you can. That's what we see. White Cyclone do 100 damage. And now Fright Knight is very, very scary. Yeah, um, that's it's, gonna it's gonna be up next turn. If, if um, you know, in a lot of these these Fright Knight decks that I, I I've seen people play in the Masters. They'll play Silent Lab to shut off. And actually, he's not taking a knockout. He only has 
does 70. Oh, 6, 12, 30, 40, 50, 70. He has 170 on it. No, 160. Yeah, 160. That's oh, not wow. enough for knockout. So, yeah. 20, 40, 60, 70. Um, oh, then he attached the duck. So, 20, 40, 60, 70. Then 20, 40, 60, 8, 90. Yeah, so 160 right now. So, yeah, not enough for knockout. There's a dark energy. So, now we evolve, take a knockout. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh. 5. And the reverse valley for... Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One, two, that was 200. They were the fighting yeah. fear belt. And then the reverse valley yeah. made it to 220. Ah. Oh. Wow. Yep. Well, he did 100 and then, you know. Reverse valley is one of those cards, too, that you see coming in and out of, you know, these dark decks. Like, not everyone is playing, you know, playing it in these dark decks, but, you know, in your opponent, they'll play it down. And they'll, you know, it, it's like you see in the old, the old days, like back in the SP formats with the flash bites with Crobat, like that extra couple damage counters that you need. You know, you look at this card and you're like, oh, like that's not much damage, but like the ten damage matters. It, it comes up and it's crucial. It, it, you know, it, it works out for you. And then we see. So since Rowan bumped that stadium, William William is free to play his uh, his shamans. And there we see a uh, crush nightmare. Tells. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He is over three on these crushers. So in gonna put Rowan down to four. William is gonna get six. Um, he attached a double dragon this turn. I'm really so, curious to see if William plays uh, Enhanced Hammer, so he doesn't even have to flip for that, that double color synergy. Yeah. Because if he can knock out this evil tall... Well, he has to he has to find Max Luxor this turn. Okay. He already attached a double dragon to that get, that bench Giratina. Yep. So he has to find a Max Luxor. Hit it! And no William Luxor. Well, he did hit, hit he did hit the Max Luxor earlier, so... And uh, I double do... Double dragon. And I didn't no, see a Max Luxor. No. So oh, he does oh, yeah, there is an there Enhanced Hammer. So I'm saying, if, if he was able to be able to knock out that active this turn and get that DCE off the, the bench, he would have been in, in such a good spot. Yeah, for sure. Now, let's see what Rowan does here. He could maybe light, uh, nope, special charge, shuffle that DC back in the deck, and that's the only one in there. I don't think there's any more left. Uh, yep, so no other DCs left in the deck. Gonna shuffle that DC back into his deck and basically kind of negate that enhanced hammer. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's not on the Pokemon anymore. Yeah. And, and what I'm saying is, is, like, that Giratina next turn, it's going to be coming up Chaos Willing. You're not going to be able to attach that double color synergy. Yep. Oh, so if he would have just waited, not yeah. have attached the Dark Energy, he could have maybe... Yep. yep. That's what I'm saying. But... Like, he's got to rely on, on hand attachments with basic... Here we go. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Here's another Max Luxor. And huge. there's a Dark yep, Energy. That was huge. Oh, man. So he got it. He can attach... Oh, Ooh, on the other one. I think he forgot that Chaos Will <laughs> shuts off your, your special energy. Oh no, we'll see. Oh no. Alright, but we'll see. What maybe Rowan has a plan. Maybe he's playing uh Hopefully he's got some Ranger. Ranger yeah. Some Rangers maybe. We're gonna need him to play the Ranger and yep. he can attack. See a knockout. Okay, going down to three prize cards oh. and uh we'll Unless see. the dark guy. Huh. So there's a dark energy going, okay. So he's gonna take a knockout this turn for sure. I mean Giratina could have came up Duke Chaos Will. Uh, I think that's I think that was the the better play, but you know, you, we don't know these deck lists. We don't know what they're playing. We don't know you know their strategy behind their deck list. Yeah, he could he could pull something crazy out. And then we see Lysina bring in the Shaman, and we're gonna see Pitch oh, Black yeah. Spear hit both Shaman EXs. When you're, when you're playing that Fright Night Evil Tall, that is the stuff that you want right there. That is nightmares for yep. William. That is that is the worst thing to happen to you. Uh, now, can he find a way to treat the Shaman? Can he find a Flowstone or a Dark Energy? A single Energy card will retreat the Shaman. But Rowan is one turn away yeah. from, uh, from going taking to, game one. Yep, from taking game one, going to game two, yep. and that much closer to being a regional champion. Yep, there we go. So it actually does seventy damage thanks to the uh, the reverse valley. The oh, judge just pointed yeah. out. Yep. So good job, good judge, catching that. Uh, but it looks like he ultra ball. This card's a Hydrogen and a Lysander. <laughs> so Willie's playing a really toolbox heavy yeah, deck. And it's, so. uh, it's worked out for him. He's yeah. he's sitting in finals. He's in, yeah, he's near the finals. Those hammers, those enhanced hammers probably did a lot of work as well. All right, so let's see. What does William do here? Can he find energy? Can he find a scape rope? Flowstone switch. There's a sycamore. Go ahead and discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. And there's a dark energy. He'll be able to treat and take a knockout this turn. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a hundred. He's digging. Wait, did he attach a double dragon this turn? He did. He attached the double dragon right before he sycamore. So... His energy attachment this turn is over. Um, he's a date right now. Well, he can't. No Flowstone. I, Fright Night. So, yeah. Yeah. I think this game's over. Yeah. I think I think, I think, I think it's going to go to straight to a game two. Yeah. I think William needs the scoop and go to... Unless... Well, he does have Parallel City. I mean, you know, he can play Switch cards, too. But so. he, can, he can maybe put down another Pokemon. Parallel City himself down to three. Okay. I don't know. What it, it looks like he did grab the Parallel City. You can't see the red from right there. If he has another Pokemon, he could put that down, but he does... Oh, he has an Ultra Ball. So he can Ultra Ball get another Pokemon down, Parallel City down to three, bump that Shaman, 
so he doesn't win automatically. Yeah. So, so that is a that's a play. But that would does be a, that'd be a really good play. Does he have another Pokemon in his deck? It looks like he is contemplating. Does he have one or not? Oh, I imagine if he had one, he would grab it immediately, but I do not see another Pokemon in his deck. And yeah, he's not going to get anything off that, and the Peril City is not going to work for him. Oh, William oh, is in a tight now, spot right he, now. He does have Fighting Foot, it does not matter because yep. of that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's going to be it. We're That's going straight to game two. We're going to game number Rowan two. takes game one. That Pitch Black Spear was, that was some Pitch Black Spear, man. I, I, I cannot get over that attack still. Like, how long do you think that card has been out? No, like three, like two sets maybe, two or three I mean, sets. I mean, it's been out for like less than a year. But yeah, like, less than a year. Yeah, for sure. I remember looking at that card with Dustin Zimmerman and just just thinking, oh my gosh, dude, like you know, and then you know you immediately think of like, okay, it says it does, you know, bench bench damage to EXs and then you, and it does sixty, and then you start thinking about Shaman and and the the math works out perfect and you, that card is great. Like, yeah. I I am very surprised I didn't see more of it yesterday. I only ran it. I ran into two out of nine rounds. I I I lost to one and I beat the other. But that card is unreal. Yeah, right now in Masters we have Dark Eye Giratina pretty much everywhere. Uh -huh. But Friday the Evil, it I think it destroys Dark Eye Giratina. Yeah. I was talking to Raul. I think he played as um, Azul. I think it's who he played against. Yep. And uh, no, it was Russell. Russell played against Azul, and Azul just he just beat him. Like, yeah. What can you do when you start pitch box playing against just EX decks? You know. But uh, both players are going to set up. I do like those Mega Gyarados. Leads. If he had flipped over Mega Gyarados oh, in the finals. I, I would have flipped. What if he's playing Gyarados with the Gyarados leaves and made it to the finals? <laughs> I would. A Gyar Gyarados oh, coin. Man. Like, <laughs> Gyarados deck box. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been amazing. I want Gyarados to do so well. I, I love it. Um, you know, even old old school Gyarados back from Stormfront like six, seven years ago. Like That deck was one of my favorite decks of all time. And then to see that people are playing Gyarados now in this format and it's working like people are in top 32 with Gyarados and it's yep. working and it's, it's incredible I just I don't I don't think we're gonna see one in finals and if we do I am I'm gonna get crazy yeah so man, it's six years since Gyarados came out uh, Stormfront I mean that's when it was I feel like two, well dude it might have been 2010 2011 yeah yeah for sure it, it has been my oh, favorite Gyarados the, the one that I played uh, Garrett, I got top four at Fort Wayne Regionals many, many moons ago. It's the one that played uh, Rescue Energy in yeah. Broken Time Space. So yeah. as soon as it gets knocked out, it goes straight to your hand. You can evolve it right away. And that was in a Luxray format, you know, lightning type Luxray. Yeah, you know, people are like, how did you, you know? And <laughs> I'll never forget it, but Dustin, Dustin Zimmerman came up with the idea of Bubble Coat. So it's essentially the weakness policy of then. But the thing with uh, Bubble Coat is... When they attacked into it, it got discarded. But yeah. you had Junk Arm. Yeah. And sure. we all remember how good Junk Arm was. Oh, man. It was too good. It was good. Uh, but Rowan did get Mulligan here. Willem did find a base Pokemon to put down the Axe Spot. I'm pretty sure it was a Mew. Uh, I think it was a Mew. I remember seeing a Mew in his hand, which I imagine that's what he wants to start with. It does have the Free Retreat, which is amazing. Get the Max Luxers off. Start getting... Both, play... Both players play Max Luxers as well, which is... Yeah. I mean, and you know they're playing four. Like you, you, you can't play one of that card. You yeah, play you four. definitely play four. You like four it's one. not a two or three of. You're uh, you're playing four, four or nothing kind of situation. Again? Uh, no, nope. he, got he got he got one cool. little Pokemon coming down. All right, and uh, here we go. Prizes are being set up, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, we gotta edit this real quick, guys. I'm sorry, but it's game number two, and we'll see who is gonna win. Let me uh, change this real quick. Uh, there we go. All right, so looks like. William started the Mew, and Rowan started that Fright Night Evertal, which proved to be the MVP last game. That's what I was going to say. I was like, yeah, bo you know, both decks are, are, are relatively similar here, but, you know, you know, type-wise, but I think I think Fright Night Evertal, man, like, that he has the advantage. Yeah, but now you see William is attached to that Double Dragon to the Giratina. And we saw last game, you know, William, he opted not to attack with the Chaos, well, which I think if he did, totally different outcome. Yeah, I mean, if William, if William can get up a Giratina quick, Start chaos willing to where Rowan cannot attach these double colorless energies. It's gonna put him in a. It's gonna put him in a spot, and then it becomes up to Rowan to get a big dark eye up with a bunch of energy, to be able to you know to knock. Or I'm not. I'm sorry, not a dark eye, an evil tall. Which you know that th those four energy on the Giratina is gonna help that evil tall with evil ball. But you know if William can put Rowan in a tight spot with a quick chaos will. I think William can can maybe take this game two out, but that, I think that is the best way that he needs to approach this. Yeah, so we see a trade as well from William. He does have an end in his hand. He might grab that. Ooh, grab the crush hammer. He's, he's waiting. He's, he's letting waiting. you know. He's like, you touch that energy. You touch that I'm energy. Knocking it off, I'm knocking it off, man. Not. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, so he does have another double dragon in his hand already. So turn two. We're seeing Chaos Will. 
Yeah, yeah we're seeing it. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen. We're There's an Umbreon. So he plays... Worm plays Umbreon as well. I'm, I'm curious to see, does he play Ninja Boy? Oh, I'm sure he does. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't. All right, so he's a more discard his hand, draw seven new cards. What can Rowan find? There's a Mew coming down. Training to look at the top cards of his deck. Uh, he does find an Ultra Ball, which could... He's probably going to go back in. Get a yeah. Like, you can even see, like, William was like, are you going back in? Like, and Rowan's like, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't want to waste any more time than we have to because yeah. I'm down a game. I'm trying to get it on. Let's let's get this game going. Don't worry, guys. They have 75 minutes, but I imagine we'll probably only be using uh, 30 minutes of how fast they are playing. Yeah, these juniors, man. These young kids, they, they play so fast. <laughs> they don't even see what the cards are. They just shame and draw six, drop a card. I hope it's the right card. It's so funny to me how, like, how all of this works out. Like, the juniors, they play so fast. And, like, their playing field is a little bit messier than, than, you know, like, the Masters. The Masters, like, their player is, like, so clean. And, yeah. like, they play real slow and think about their plays. <laughs> All right. But, uh, see, William, he does attach a double dragon to the Darkrai, or to the Giratina. Here comes a Crush oh, Nammer. Well, we oh, saw. Yes. Oh, there we go. There's the hands. It's Discard the energy. Not that Friday Night Eve at all. Uh, we'll probably see a Giratina come up and has to castle. There's a Sycamore coming for William. Go ahead and discard his hand and draw seven new cards. Discard some Seamus, some Hoopas. Wow. All right. Man, that's a. That's some. That's some beautiful cards there. That's all Very I say. beautiful. That's I was thinking beautiful. I was like, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's some that's some cards there. Got some ultra balls. Oh man, it's weird that he opts not to play the reverse of cards. He's like, either I'm playing gold, full art, or we're just playing regular cards. Yeah, here. I'm going all the way. Yeah. I'm not going at all. Yeah. So we see. Uh, looks like another Max is coming down. Looks like he might be deciding to go oh. with the uh, for Naga, okay, which I think fine. it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, Ron could find a Fright on Evital. A DCE kind of wombo combo thing, and here we see a Sycamore discard his hand, and even tall EX is not going to take a knockout next turn. The more, the most he can do is you know, like maybe D, uh, Max Luxury 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which not even nothing really. Here's a Max Luxury. He can hit for 100. There is a Dark. I saw a Dark in there. Yep, yep. there's two Darks. So touch and Dark energy to the Evatol. Okay. Now, like I said, Rowan could hit for 100, but. That dark eye right now is swinging for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 150 damage. Uh huh. Just needs one more energy. Yeah, it's. William, uh, William is, you know, he, he's getting what he really needed to, to do last game, but, you know, he, he's still got this game and one more game. I think if, you know, if he could pull off this game and do the same exact thing that he's doing right now, game three, William might take it home, man. Yep. And here's the shame. Going to set up, get six new cards in their hand. And let's see what does he find here. All right, there's a. Uh, he has another Max looks here. A Max looks is not going to mess the damage too much. It's still a two shot. Uh, Trains to look at top four. Okay, there's an Ultra Ball, DCE, Reverse Valley. Oh. Huh. Let's see. Does Reverse Valley mess the math at balls? I still don't think it's not. There's no way. He can't do two, 220. It's impossible. Like, I don't think he can. Dude, no. Even if you play like all his. Well, if you play three Max looks, maybe. I think he's doing like 130, maybe 140. I, I, I'm. Don't quote me. He's doing 110 right now. 110. Okay. Wow. So, so Friday Night all comes down. Uh, we see another Max looks there, okay. Yep. I think now, that goes on. I think you need to put that on the the Friday Night. Yeah, you did. definitely put on the Friday Night. But he did he with the energy. Rowan did with the energy uh, to attach to that Friday Night Evitol. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah. You still attach. I was thinking maybe like Y Cyclone, but still it does less damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, but. It'd be essentially the same thing. You need to be two shot in that dark ride, right? like, yeah, because he's gonna start taking prizes and it's gonna get bad. All right, so here we see the even talk come up. We're gonna hit it for 110 damage, like I said. Um, now, William can bump the stadium, make it a little bit harder because does he have a fighting fury belt on that active evil taller? No, no, he does not. Ooh. Right now, it's doing oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's doing 170 right now. That's 170 now. Yep. yep. So oh, that's uh, problematic, man. Like, so this 170. Is, this, is a, this is a pain. Rose looks at me with the f the free retreat. Um, does he get down to Evotol? Does he get down? He needed a max. He needs a max elixir on the the e the ex. Yeah, Evotol but he's already played Evotol. so many. I don't know how many he's played. <sighs> um, I think it's looking rough for Rowan, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. The judge they were to make sure that everything's right. Okay, and what do we see just pass from Rowan? I mean, yeah. There's nothing he can do. He 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 didn't even have an energy to attach from his hand. I think he was sitting at a three a three card hand. Oh was just... man! So is he likes to bring up the Evatol, which not enough for the knockout. He's gonna start doing some damage to that Evatol. And hey, if you're attacking this guy later, how much how much is he short? Uh, what? Wait, no, what? Yeah, one, yeah. Two, Remember three, he was doing one seventy. Oh, he did one seventy yeah. without any energies. Yeah, like. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Played it in. Yep. Tamed and him down, down to one, but uh. It's 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 too far gone. Like I don't know how uh, 
Roan can win this. Uh, how, how can he knock out this Dark Art this turn? I mean, if, if he, he has to get Evital Yx, Max Luxor, and an, uh, Energy this turn. No, and a DC. DCE. No, he has to have a DC and a Max Luxor, or an Energy Reverse Valley Max Luxor, or Energy Reverse. I think this game is too Dude, far it's, out it's of so, for like, Rowan. it's so much he needs right now. He's already has two even though he gets his knockout. Okay, so and he's they received so, the so wow. Game. And we're going to game number three, guys, of the junior finals. Like I said, you know, usually you think these matches take a long time. I think it's been maybe like 20 minutes max. I Yeah, I haven't been keeping track of time on my yeah. watch. But yeah, they, they go relatively quick. Yeah, so we're going to see uh, round number three in a second, guys. And who do you want to win, William or Roan? They're essentially kind of playing the same deck. Uh, William going for the more EX heavy variant, while Roan is going for the more You know, I don't, I, don't pers I don't personally know either one of these kids. I know Roan, he comes to a lot of uh, a lot of Indiana tournaments. So, you know, I, I see quite a bit of him play, you know, playing there. Um, I don't know, William. Um, I don't... I don't particularly like really care too much about either of the decks because I've never really played either one of the decks. But I think Fright Night, man. I I, I think I'm gonna go for the Fright Night guy, man. Like Fright Night is so good. It's like I said, I have to go with Rowan. Okay. His name is Godfrey. Okay. Dude, yeah. Hemlock Grove, favorite show on Netflix. Okay. I've never, I've never heard of it. Never watched it. It's got three seasons. It's already been canceled. But uh, canceled. It's already been canceled. They already canceled Hemlock Grove. It's okay though. It's a good ending. It's well, a good ending. Bro Rowan doesn't get canceled here. He can go home a, uh, a regional. I'm pretty city. sure uh, the character's name is Rowan Godfrey as well. That's unreal to me. I'm gonna look at it. I'm pretty sure the character's name is Rowan Godfrey. I'm looking this up real quick. Wild. Uh, I hope it's. I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is though. Let's see. Rowan Godfrey. Can confirm it is Roman. Not oh, Roman. Roman. <laughs> it's Roman? Yeah, Roman. Okay, I know, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Roman Godfrey. But look, I told you. Is. Yeah. Oh, he man. He kind of looks like Johnny Depp. He's a vampire, too. Yeah, he kind of looks like Johnny Depp. Yeah. He might be Johnny Depp. We, they all, know a vamp we all know a vampire that looks like Johnny Depp. <laughs> Uh-oh. Same. All right, so here we go, guys. Round number three. Who's going to take a William or Rowan? We'll just wait for both players Shut the set up here. Get a good little shuffle. Make sure everything's randomized. All right, first turn predictions from Rowan go before they set up. From Roman? Rowan. Oh, Rowan. Uh, Rowan, he's going to start Mew. Okay. He's going to max look for DC turn one. Same. Yes, turn that one. That is what I'm saying. Fright 90 with Saul coming I can out. See it. <laughs> I'm, I, I need to see a free retreater in the active. And I need to see some max elixirs and a DC. I think he, I think he started shaming though. Oh gosh. I think. Oh man, I hope Please. not. All right, Mew. Oh, oh even talk. Ball. But still, all right. So we're gonna see Rowan go first. He decides who goes first or second. He does have some Ultra Ball. He has some Dark Energy, Trainer's Mail. There's a Flowstone. Flow Give that free treat. Oh, Max looks okay. Now he does have an Ultra Ball. Maybe he's trying to get a find out ASAP. Yeah. That's what you wanna do, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so, let's see, oh, 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 no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, alright guys, we'll fix it, I'll get, well, we're still good, we're still, we'll keep right here, I don't want you to mess it up and, uh, nah, it's fine, we're good, we're good, I don't want to, you tilt it and, uh, okay. be worse, I know the camera got knocked guys, but we'll fix it after this round, don't, I don't want to go out there, but like, Rami, tilt it to the side just a little bit, cause I don't, <laughs> it's fine, yeah, it's fine, we're good, okay. Yeah, they're good guys. All right, so I know it's just a little bit, but we'll go out there and fix it. So this Max Luxor, um, I don't know if he hit it or not. I was worried about the camera. The I think cares. he's still shuffling from the trainer's mill. Or okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh no, he he missed it. But there is the attachment from the hand. Okay, and a sycamore. sycamore. Discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, so I know, guys. Don't don't start commenting. The camera's off. We know. We know. Oh, we know. Thank you. We know. <laughs> uh, we'll fix out this. I don't want Rami to go out there. I said, this is Justin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you see Trainer's Mill from Rowan. Does he find another Max Lux or not? He does find a Fighty Three Bill. He has a DC in his hand, so he's going to be he's gonna be Fright Night in next turn. Unless William pulls a Brad Kershio, gets the Giratina, Double Dragon, a double max elixir. Or William could play those those crush hammers. Remember, yeah. we gotta. I always you always forget about crushing hammer. Yeah, because not everybody plays it. Yep, exactly. And so see, we'll, we'll see. Uh, there's a dark energy going to that Friday night Evital. And uh, okay, so another another max elixir coming down. So even if he gets that crush hammer off, he's ready to attack next turn. Yeah. He's that DCE no matter what. And he has the third max elixir. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So third max elixir coming down. It does. He oh, he whiffs this one. All right, but still, two out of three. We'll take it. No, one. No, one out of three. It's one out of three. But one out of three, but, one out of three, but still, no, we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, yeah, you're fine. It's just the the thing now is, 
All right, we see a pass. He does have that crush hammer in his hand, oh and he did top deck an Ultra Ball. He didn't have, have a Pokemon in his hand straight away. Uh, so Ultra Ball is going to dark energy. I just want him to flip the. I just want him to flip the crush hammer. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see what happens too, but uh, we'll find out here in a second. Ultra Ball. I love seeing it happen unless it's happening to me. And then you want to cry. Yeah. Like, please don't hit heads. It just sets you back an entire turn. You know, if you aren't, if you are someone who's not playing Max Elixir, and you're attaching manually from your hand every single turn, and someone's playing Crushing Hammer against you, it's detrimental. Yeah. Oh, we had a card flip. Okay. We're good. We're good. He knows he plays Dark Energy. <laughs> I can assure you of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we see a Max looks here. Gonna get the whiff there. Yeah. Oh, and he's oh. not. Oh, here we go, boys. And oh. oh. That's a Tails. Yeah. Hold on, that's a Tails, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, no, it's a Heads. Was it was it? a four. It was a four. Oh, wow. I it must saw have been it. the glare. Yeah, it was a glare. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so fighting for a come down to Dark Rye. The judge wouldn't be the cause. There's no yeah. the judge. Like, yeah, you don't miss that. Yeah, like, that's a five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has the Max Elixir off of the. The trainer's mail. All right. He's looking. He's seeing if I got two max elixirs here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If he, hit, if he hit the first one. Only hit the first one. Yeah. We would see a turn one chaos will. With no Shutting <laughs> down all of his double colorless energies. <laughs> putting putting Rowan in a world of pain. All right. And I think he missed. Oh, no, no he, he got hit one. it. He, he got one. Okay. Oh, it's going there. Well, I mean, he can't attack with the, the guillotine of this turn, so I guess it's okay kind of thing. So... All right, so we see uh, gonna get a good cut here, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. All right, and what will William? Okay, just pass. All right, son of Roman Tony, we know he has a well. He did have a DC. I think he does. He have his DC? I can't remember. He does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. He does. All right, but he's still gotta get that. He's still gotta get the boy out of the active. Yeah. No. Oh, oh. I don't. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that play, man. All right, so come on. Maybe he's like, all right, you're not gonna lock me out next turn, kind of thing. Maybe. I just feel like he could have got the, he could have gotten the. I mean, he does not wait to retreat right now in his hand. So fighting fear about making it a little bit hard. He's gonna go aggro. He's gonna go aggro. Evil tall man. He, I'm telling you, like he's he's got three fright knights on that bench. Yeah. He's like, look, you have an option. Oh man, does he play? Does he get the hand hammer this turn? If he gets the enhanced hammer this turn, that's it. Rowan's back. Like that's bad. Yeah. 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 That'd be the worst thing to happen. Crushing hammer hands and hand hammer. We know he at least played one hand hammer. He's playing the sycamore man. He's digging. There, right. Oh, there's the enhance. Oh boy, is there gonna be a crushing this uh, turn? Oh man, he's, he's got, got the, the energy. Stone. He's got the energy too. He can yep. attack this turn. Oh my goodness, so dark energy there. There's the enhancer coming out. Discard that DC off the active. He already committed a fighting field to the active as well, so he cannot put a flow stone either. And guys, it is not looking good for Rowan. So he's gonna do the dark pulse for 110 damage. And man, guys, it is not looking good for Rowan. That that DC being discarded. There's a dark energy. He has. Oh boy. Mm. Is this set back? And, and you know he's got he's got the fighting three belt on the active too, so he can't even treat. Yeah, he can't, can't even treat. I'm stuck. Where's he in? Uh, both players are gonna shuffle up, get six new cards, and I mean Rowan, do you just let the evil tall get knocked out this turn? I mean you have to, man. Yeah. Like, if you, what are you gonna do? Attach to it so that can be <laughs> one more energy. He already attached like, the bitch. Yeah. He already attached yeah, the bitch. Yeah, you let yeah. it die. Yeah. I mean I don't know if he plays escape rope or switch or you know or anything like that, but like. Yeah, you just let that thing get knocked out. Yeah. Now, what he could do is let him talk, take a knockout and then end him down to four, disrupt him just a little bit. Yeah. And hopefully, just just hope that's enough. Uh, he does have the DC in hand already, so he can pitch box spear next turn. But will William find one of these crush hammers again? And that's the question. These crushing hammers. Dude. These crush there. So, oh my You know what goodness. this format needs? It needs a super scoop up so he can super scoop up that evil tall. Uh. <laughs> No, so, uh, no, you're no. Right. we don't need that card. No, no, that super card scoop. can go away and stay away. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's let's change AZ to Super Scoop Up instead. Yeah. Let's still make it a trainer card. <sighs> well, that would just be Scoop Up from base set back in, what, oh, oh, 99. Yeah, yeah. You it's just automatically sorry. pick it up. <laughs> sorry, I thought that you talked about a second. Yeah, yeah, it did. It discarded. It actually discarded yeah, everything. It discarded, too, so yeah. yeah, it was an AZ that you could use yeah. as many as you wanted. <laughs> what a card. All right, so we're going to see it looks like a pass from Ro Rome. Now I, look, I looked up Godfrey, not thinking Roman the whole time. You say Rowan 12 times, and Rowan. you'll never forget it. <laughs> so <laughs> on to William's turn. Um, let's see. So in. There we go. So in. Both players. Uh, yeah, the six. Now that's a good thing for William. He's getting in out of his out of his hands, like out of his deck. So yeah. he does get in. He doesn't draw back into it after he takes two prize cards. So... That and he, or he can draw to like a sycamore if he gets down to into like th you know two or you know four or like however the prize race goes. Yeah. And there you go. He's like he drew it. He drew oh, into the. Oh, some crush. There's crush hammers. Now I think oh you. I gosh. think you hold on to the crush hammers. Because you yeah, want to see which one he attaches to. Yeah, because you want to. 
you want to discard the DCE. If you can discard the DCE next turn when he pitch Black Spears you, that's when you want to play it, I'm pretty sure. So we know, see another Breakpoint Dark Red come down. Another Max looks here, and can he find another energy? And... Nope. Nope. nope, nope. There's the Hydreigon coming down, but I mean, it doesn't get that Dark Red for your treat. Only, it doesn't get Guaranteed for your treat. It does. No, it does minus two. It had two Guaranteed on the field. Because uh, the two hydrogens? Is, yeah, oh, I thought it was free retreat. Nope, oh, it is minus, minus two. two. Minus two. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So, but it makes the guaranteed only one energy to retreat instead of the three. So yeah, you, you know, so, you just that you know that dark energy has on it, you can just retreat that. Yeah, but here we see uh, Rowan. Uh, so Williams is going to take the knockout on to Rowan's turn. Going to uh, end. And, okay, so end. I think. Okay, well, I, you know, before the end, I agree with what you said about saving the crushing hammer. I think, yeah, what he does is he was going to chaos will this next turn. I feel like that's what you do. You chaos will. You, you get rid of the double color synergy. You chaos will. Yep. And uh, now you're stuck with two Fright Night Evil Tolls with one energy on it. Yep. And, and you can't attach the double color synergy. Yeah. He'll have to find a Pokemon Ranger, which I, I haven't don't seen. Think he plays, I haven't man. seen one I don't either think game. He plays uh -huh. the Ranger. Yep. But did he find a Did he find a DC? I, I mean, I imagine he had a DC. Oh, he, he does. does. Okay, okay. Oh, he look at it. He's Dude, flashing. He's, he's like, I'm waiting for you, Bubba. <laughs> he's trying to decide which one to attach to. So he'll attach to one without the Flowstone. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. He can't. Yeah. Flowstone. Yeah. So uh, we have to William. What is going to do here? Does he take the knockout? Or oh, there's the double dragon. Does he chaos will here? But I think if you, when you chaos will, you have to discard the DCE. I think that's what you have to do. You yeah. You have to you have to do both of them at the same time. Yeah. You can't just go for chaos will. I'll oh, keep the DCE. Oh, and he discards that double dragon with a sycamore. Or no, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball discard. Ultra Which Ball is fine. Double dragon. You, you know, he's already got the double dragon on there. He can just attach an, a regular energy. So yeah. But what is he? Okay, I wonder what card he got with that Ultra Ball. I don't. Is it a? Sh it looks like he didn't get anything with you. Uh, that actually. So via Seeker, I think he needs he needs to get something going. Like he needs to be able to enhance Hammer. Like he he's got to get rid of these energy when There's, they come. There's okay. two Crushing Hammer. Here it comes. Heads. Has this, oh, he has a, he has an enhanced he has another uh, Crushing Hammer in his hand. He's gonna take a knockout. So he, oh. he can't attack this turn. That's why he did it. Yep. So you take it a knockout. Wow. Owen to Rowan's turn. Uh, six or three on prize cards. Rowan will have to find a Max Luxor and a double a DC. But I know for sure he's already played three Max Luxor. He might have played the four when we weren't paying attention. He's he's building up that evil Tolly X man. Yeah. He's getting that thing ready. He's trying to. Yeah. That's gonna be Rowan's plan. Can he get this evil Tolly? Just ton of energies on it and start knocking out these Pokemon. That's going to be a plan. Rowan is going to end William down three. Even if he gets a max look here, though, he's only doing 110 with... Uh, yeah, still not taking a knockout, yeah. He's going to he's gonna probably just let, let the Mew get knocked out. Um, Change will look at top four. Okay, there's a special charge. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's special charge. He's still looking at this. Dude, I'm, I'm saying it now. I think if Rowan can get this Dark Rai out of the out of, out of of the way, knock it out with this Evil Tully X next turn and... Like, you know, William, like, has to start attacking with the Giratina. I think I think Rowan takes it home. But Rowan's already attached this turn. Yeah. A DC but. next turn will not knock out this Darkrai. A DC does not knock it out. There, look. Max looks here. There, he had it. He, there it is. He's okay. got the energy. All right, so he got the energy. So he's doing, 100, the he's doing 110. Which is not enough for knockout. He has to wait. You let the Mew get knocked out. There's no way you attack this right now. You let, you let the Mew get knocked out. He's not going to one-shot you, though. He does not one shot you with Darkrai next turn. He's doing 150 right now. He needs to count as double dragons. He's a, he's just hard, he's discarded two, so he's only got one left. But if he's doing 150, uh, fighting free roll does make things interesting. Yeah. But the thing is, if he needs a max elixir and a double dragon, oh my gosh, he has the double dragon and a shaman. All right, we're, we're gonna, gonna see, see some medieval yeah. biblical stuff yeah. here, dude. So <laughs> the double dragon be attached, okay? Now, I mean, it still is a bad situation because if William, let's let's see if William does take a knockout, right? He's doing 170 damage right now. Yeah. So if William does take a knockout, right? He does take a knockout. Oh, Lysander. Oh. Ooh. So go down to two price cards. All right. And then he's gonna be okay. He's gonna be able to one shot that. But that that even is gonna knock him out this turn. Yeah. We puts down Shaman. Uh, I don't know if that was a good play. Or is the Shaman already down? Oh! He's gonna go for Skyrim for the knockout, and then he's gonna promote the Evil Tall. No, he's gonna promote uh, Fright Night. Yeah, Fright Night. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So that since wow. he promotes the Fright Night, it knocks it out because of Skyrim turn. So we it's down. That Mew goes. There we go. Back to his hand. All right. So uh, on to Williams turn. Gonna promote that Mew, and we're gonna see what happens here. He has to find a Lysander. I mean, even a Lysander does not knock out this Evil Tall X though. 
Alright, so let's see. Max Luxor, he has a Dark Eater Drink attached to that bench. Dark Eater EXP is doing oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's only doing 130, which doesn't take a knock on EX right now, which is a key thing to note. You All know what's right. really scaring me is, I mean, is, is, he's going to knock out. He's going to knock out this. Uh, he, the Friday Night Evil Yeah, and oh, then. He just set up for. Has he already played a supporter? No, he has not. Okay, he has a Lysander in his hand. I think he's gonna. I think he wants to attack into this this evil Tall EX this turn. Yeah, I mean he can license to bring up the evil Tall EX and say, "Hey man, <laughs> you attack with this guy, you lose." Yeah, yeah. That's because like, trades well for yeah. flow stump. But Ro another, Rowan doesn't shame. have an answer. He doesn't. Rowan does not have an answer. You know, with another attacker. Yep. So. I'm almost 100 percent sure he is out of max elixirs. Um, and here comes Darkrai, and no, he's just going to wow. knock out the Evatol. But I mean, he's still fine. He can license to bring up Mew, and it's going to come down to an end to one. And uh, right now, the Evatol is not knocking out Darkrai either. Oh. Nope. He has a DCE. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only 152 that Darkrai. So that's not a knockout either on this Darkrai. So, yeah. Right, yeah. 150, yeah. It's not enough for a knockout. So, man. Is uh, he doing 150? Are you sure? 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think he's doing 110, is he not? No, if you attach the DCE. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah DCE 150. Yeah, 150. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's oh. really, like, it's impossible yep. for him to, yeah, it's almost impossible. I don't think he doesn't max looks left. He's going to DCE here. Oh, man, it just looks like William is going to win those this game. Those crush hammers. Yeah, the crush hammers. Yeah, hammers. They, yeah, hammers they, doing some work. Made it where Fright Night Evil Tall cannot attack this game. Did not attack a single yeah, time. I no. think he only attacked with Fright Night two times this entire series, and it was game one when he did the double knockouts on the shamans. Game two. Well, oh, game one. That was game one. Okay. Rowan won game one. Yeah. And right now, that Dark is doing 160 damage. There's yeah. not enough for knockout on the, on the Evil Tall, but like we said earlier, if Evil Tall hit, takes a hit here, oh, still not, for, still not enough for knockout. It's only one, uh, 160. Yeah. So. Or one. Uh, one fifty? No, 160. 160, yeah, 160. Yeah, yep, 160. 160. Not taking the knockout. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. There's oh. a big secret for. And there you have Willie Wallace will wow. win this series and become the junior champion of Orlando Regionals. Incredible. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. You guys. can tell he's throwing his arms up in the air. He does not know how to feel right now. Oh, man. Still. This Great, fi great finals. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, those hammers. I love, I love watching the young, the young guys play. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. You know, people at this caliber have played this young. If they stick with this game, you're, you're gonna see someone who's gonna win worlds. Dude, look at that deck times. box. That is sick. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get William? You wanna interview? You wanna interview William? Sure. Yeah. We'll let, we'll, we'll let Raimi interview William. Give me one second. Let me see if I can get him, guys. Yeah, I'll flip the screen so we can uh, see. Hold on. Give me one second. Hey, how you doing, William? Congratulations on your win. So, um, you just won. Yeah. You are the Orlando Regional Champion. You understand this is the largest regional of all time. Oh, wow. You know that, right? No. That is incredible. So, uh, going into this, you know, I'm sure you prepared. You, you know, you play tested. Um, what uh, what area of the country are you from? Um, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Philly. Okay, Philly. so you guys got Philadelphia Regionals coming up yeah. here pretty soon. You going to that? Yeah. You gonna win? Probably. Oh, uh, there you go. Probably. So uh, who do you uh, who do you play test with? Um, I play test with my dad and somebody named Ryan Antonucci that goes to the local league. He's, a, he's one of the top seniors. Okay. So you know you're you're playing with these these kids who are in uh, you know an age group above you. Yeah. So do you feel like that you're getting uh, you know a lot of good experience and you know good strategy yeah. from the older players? On the match of my bus, um, on like the, um, my cut, my top, um, the finals match, uh -huh. it was um, um, the evil tall deck, and my dad and Lion always play that deck, so I'm so used to beating it. So you were prepared for this matchup. Right. Uh -huh. You knew you were going to see evil tall coming into this weekend. Yeah. So throughout your Swiss rounds, and then you know you guys cut to day two. Um, how many evil tall decks did you uh, did you see? I bust two. Two. Okay, but you know those two wins, they were they were critical, and they got you they got you to the top, and you won. It was against two of the top players. So. Okay, and did the, I'm assuming that you won. You know both yeah. of those. Was one of those two the ones that you played in finals? Yeah. No. Um. No. No. It was okay. one in finals, one in Swiss. So what was your record uh, yesterday? Four o two. Four o two. Okay. So you're the regional champion. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to back home? Um. Thanks for my dad supplying me, getting me all these cards and okay. everything. Okay. And uh, you know your 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 playtest buddies, 
I'm sure they're watching. If they're the, if, are they here? I, no. I'm, I'm sure they're watching. I'm sure they're watching the stream and they're they're ecstatic for you. But uh, congratulations, buddy. You you know you enjoy it, and we'll see you in Philadelphia. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Guys, we'll be back here in a second. Uh, we'll try to see if we have the seniors finals or not. I don't know that's going already. Or we might have some masters top 32. So give me a second, guys. I'll find out here what's happening. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.